Good morning, folks. We've got a look at space weather, both yesterday's event and potentially more to come. We'll take a peek at an interesting ecological study and another from the James Webb Space Telescope on water in space. But we are starting with our star and we find the last 24 hours to contain minor pops, minor surges, a very impulsive solar flare, coronal holes turning through and incoming active region brightness at the limb. The solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are quiet. Yesterday's solar flare was hard to see in this view, so let's slow down 131 angstroms to isolate the flare flash from the southern departing group. It was a strong but very short-lived event, and as we recall, these short-lived impulsive flares do not produce CMEs as effectively as long-duration flares. This one hit M7 rating, which is in fact a strong energization as we see in the D region absorption. Alas, no CME from that one, and the coronal holes represent the only space weather that is currently on its way to Earth. We'll be watching these sunspots as over on the left, you can see we've got multiple active regions incoming. I found this next study to be fascinating, and it discussed the electrical conversations mushrooms have with each other. They focused on the impact of a rainstorm, but it implies there may be other scenarios where there is previously undetected energetic interactions between them. Got a link below the video if you want to check it out. Today's top story comes from the James Webb Space Telescope, and it discusses a considerable water signature found at a star system, but they can't tell whether it came from the atmosphere of its exoplanet or from the star itself. They know full well that the sun can have water vapor in sunspots and that it can happen at other stars too. Good summary of what they found within the article and of that previous knowledge about star water. What's interesting is it forces us to think back to our previous discussions years to go about how star water may have impacted the earth in the past, how solar wind hydrogen may interact with ozone oxygen to produce water during major solar outbursts, and since sunspots can be as big as Jupiter, the notion that even just one sunspot could contain an earth's ocean of water and then erupted into space really can get the imagination going, especially for mega sunspots and super flare eruptions. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.